Welcome to our explainer video on magnesium stearate. Magnesium stearate is a common excipient and food additive that is found in a wide range of products, including supplements, medication, and cosmetics. If you are the kind of person who takes interest in ingredients in the products you consume, chances are you've come across it in the list of ingredients on the label. You may also be a scientist interested in using it in your products. Whatever your interest, this video is just for you. To ensure that all the necessary details are covered, without overwhelming you, the video will focus on its potential benefits as well as any concerns you should be aware of. I'll also go over its chemical and physical properties and everything else that's important for its successful application in product. Pharmacentral.com is an information and raw material selection platform. We assist pharmaceutical industry professionals solve technical problems and create innovative products. Be sure to check us out at our website and all the usual social channels. All the links and resources mentioned in this video are in the description box below. And without much ado, let's jump straight into the video. Let's start at the very beginning. What exactly is magnesium stearate? So, magnesium stearate, sometimes known as magnesium distirate, or did basic magnesium stearate is a synthetic soap that consists of a mixture of magnesium salts of fatty acids, mainly palmitate and stearate, in varying proportions. It corresponds to magnesium octadecanote. It has the chemical formula shown here. In the United States Pharmacopeia, magnesium stearate is described as a compound of magnesium with a mixture of solid organic acids, mainly varying amounts of magnesium stearate and magnesium palmitate. The European Pharmacopoeia describes magnesium stearate as a mixture of solid organic acids, consisting chiefly of variable levels of magnesium stearate and magnesium palmitate. It is a relatively inexpensive material, chemically stable, has a high melting point and outstanding lubrication property. Commercial grades are supplied as very fine, light and white, impalpable powder of low bulk density. It exhibits a faint odor of stearic acid. The powder is also greasy and readily adheres to the skin. Here are some of the many other names that magnesium stearate is known as, some of which are trade names. Beyond knowing what a substance is, the other concern on people's minds is origin. That is, whether it is natural, synthetic, or a mineral. So, let's review this now. In this respect, magnesium stearate is a material that is chemically synthesized from a suitable magnesium compound and fatty acid. There are several synthetic approaches in use, all of which can be broadly divided into two groups, namely, number one, the so-called direct methods, which involve reacting aqueous solutions of magnesium chloride with fatty acids or sodium stearate, and number two, indirect methods, which involve the production of a sodium soap by reacting fatty acids with sodium hydroxide, followed by the addition of magnesium oxide, hydroxide, or carbonate, which then precipitates out the magnesium stearate. It is important to note that the manufacturing process has an impact on the grade of magnesium stearate produced, but we shall touch on this later in the video. Let me also briefly touch on the chemical structure and a few other important points to help us further understand this material and its derivatives. This is especially important for chemists and other scientists who might be interested in using this substance in their projects. So, in very simple terms, magnesium stearate is a soap and a salt. It consists of two equivalents of a fatty acid, usually steric and palmitic acid, and a charged magnesium cation. In chemistry, a soap is a salt of a fatty acid, which are carboxylic acids with a short or long aliphatic chain. Fatty acids are the main components of lipids. Magnesium stearate, as represented by this chemical structure, can be seen as being composed of two molecules of steric acid bonded to one magnesium atom. In this representation, the magnesium atom is bonded to two oxygen atoms, which are, in turn, bonded to two long chains of carbon atoms. It is important to note that this is a simplified representation of the chemical structure of magnesium stearate. In reality, the structure is more complex and includes additional atoms and bonds that are not shown in this representation. At Pharmacentral.com, we are always banging on about chemical identifiers. They are important because they provide a consistent and standardized way to identify and refer to specific chemicals. This is especially important in pharmaceuticals, where accurate identification of chemical compounds is critical. Chemical identifiers also help to facilitate the regulation of chemicals and enable regulatory agencies to track the use and potential hazards of specific chemicals. 
Here is a list of the most important chemical identifiers, as shown here in this table. It is important to note that a Cas number is specific to the exact chemical compound it is assigned to. Different forms of the same compound will have different Cas numbers, even if they are chemically similar. Regulatory status is a term that refers to the legal requirements and restrictions that apply to the use of a specific chemical or group of chemicals. It determines how a chemical can be used, handled, and disposed of, and it is often established by government agencies or other nominated bodies charged with protecting human health and the environment. Magnesium stearate is an approved excipient. It is listed in all the major pharmacopoeia. It is also grass listed and accepted as a food additive in the USA and the EU. Magnesium stearate is additionally listed in the US FDA Inactive Ingredients Database for oral tablets, tablets and powders, topical preparations, and medical implants. A specification for magnesium stearate is included in the Food Chemicals Codex, which allows it to be used in food products. Now that we have reviewed what magnesium stearate is, let us now explore why and how it is used in consumer products. Magnesium stearate is used in pharmaceutical products, cosmetic formulations, and food products taking advantage of its water barring properties. It is the most commonly used metallic salt lubricant and excipient in pharmaceutical and nutraceutical tablets. The hydrophobic nature of magnesium stearate also makes it useful as a lubricant and flow enhancing agent in the manufacture of pharmaceutical tablets and capsules on high speed tablet machines and capsule filling equipment. Coatings Magnesium stearate is used to reduce sticking and improve the moisture resistance of coatings and also improve the stability and shelf life of active ingredients that are moisture sensitive. It has also been used in topical medical devices to enhance the performance of barrier creams. Typical concentrations are between 0.25 and 5%. Let's quickly review its main function as a lubricant, for which magnesium stearate is known for. So, magnesium stearate is what is known as a boundary lubricant. A boundary lubricant is a type of lubricant that is used to reduce friction and wear between two surfaces that are in close proximity to each other, but not necessarily in direct contact. The lubricant effect relates to the adherence of the polar moiety onto the particle surface, while the lipophilic moiety is oriented outward. A well-known disadvantage of using magnesium stearate as a lubricant is its ability to form a hydrophobic film around formulation particles. This has the potential to compromise the dissolution profile of active substance in the formulation. In addition, when used in plastic deforming fillers, it can lead to tablets of low breaking strength and high friability. Commercially available grades of magnesium stearates are generally a mixture of crystalline forms, mainly the anhydrate, monohydrate, dehydrate, and trihydrate. Depending upon the source, the material can differ in morphology, crystallinity, variability in particle size, surface area, and fatty acid composition. These differences can result in different compression profiles and lubrication efficiency, and potentially, differences in hardness and tablet friability. Concern about the safety of chemical substances is understandable, given the explosion in the number and type of chemicals added to all types of consumer products today. Magnesium stearate has attracted a lot of controversy in recent years despite and or perhaps due to its widespread use. There is a lot of misinformation and confusion about its safety, with some people claiming that it is toxic or harmful to the body, while others arguing that it is perfectly safe and even beneficial. So let's take a closer look at the science behind magnesium stearate and separate the facts from myths around the substance. One of the main concerns raised about magnesium stearate is that it can interfere with the absorption of other essential nutrients. Some people claim that the magnesium in magnesium stearate can compete with other forms of magnesium for absorption, leading to reduced levels of this essential mineral in the body. However, there is no scientific evidence to support this assertion. Magnesium stearate does not affect the absorption or bioavailability of any other nutrients or supplements. Another claim about magnesium stearate is that it can cause inflammation or other adverse effects on the body. It has even been claimed that the stearic acid in magnesium stearate may contribute to inflammation or other health problems, such as cardiovascular disease and cancer. Again, there is no scientific evidence to support these claims. On the other hand, stearic acid has been shown to have neutral or even beneficial effects on cholesterol levels and cardiovascular health. So, is magnesium stearate safe? Almost certainly, yes. 
Not only has magnesium stearate been used as a pharmaceutical excipient for several decades, it has been shown to be a non-toxic and non-irritant substance following oral administration. It is generally recognized as safe as a direct human food ingredient by the United States FDA, one of the leading regulatory agencies in the world. In Europe, all magnesium salts of fatty acids are approved ingredients, and their safety as food additives has been re-evaluated by the European Food Safety Authority. The World Health Organization and many other health authorities around the world have concluded no safety concerns at the reported use levels exist, and there is no need to establish a numerical acceptable daily intake. If you have any concerns about the safety of magnesium stearate, it is always a good idea to speak with a healthcare provider or a qualified professional for more information. If you intend to use it in a formulation, be cautious and follow the recommended guidelines for safe use. If at all in doubt, colleagues at PharmaCentral.com have extensive formulation experience and will be happy to guide you. Hopefully, we have given you a little more information about what this raw material is about, and I hope you found the video informative. Please, check out our other videos on raw materials of interest and helpful formulation tips. And, for those interested in improving their knowledge and skills, we will start offering free and paid courses on our portal. Be sure to visit www.pharmacentral.com for more information. I have also put a link in the description below. And so that you don't miss out when we release new content, please subscribe to our fledgling channel. Thanks for staying with me, and I hope to see you soon.